Hey sweets, I hope everybody's doing lovely. And again, happy Mother's Day to all of the beautiful women. Can't say it enough, there's not enough days in the world for you beautiful women to express how much we really do appreciate you for all that you do. Okay, so right now I'm about to show you a DIY that um, I told you guys I would be bringing you. Today we're gonna be working on this basket here that is also a hamper. Okay, I told you that I wanted to do something a little bit different with it. And what I'm going to do is um, all of the wicker parts that are like in this lighter tan, I think it will give it a fresher, newer look if I painted it white. Um, so I'm going to do that and see if I can give it a new, fresher look than what it looks like right now. So just stay tuned to see how it turns out. Okay, bye. <music> So to begin, I went to Joann's and purchased these brushes here. Very, very good brushes. They were $3.99 a pack. This is the same paint that I purchased from Lowe's Home Improvement. It is the satin white outdoor paint for wood, vinyl, and metals. Just for precautionary measures, be careful when you're using this type of paint because it is extremely permanent and it will not come out of your clothing, carpet, or anything that is fabric related. So please be careful, lay something down if you're using it. I have laid down some mini trash bags, so yeah. To be more precise with your coverage, I would suggest using a brush that is maybe one to two times smaller than the one that I used. Just so that your lines are nice and clean and you don't get paint um, anywhere else other than where you actually want the paint to be. Due to the fact that I am painting wicker, the wood absorbed the paint a lot faster. So I did give each one of the blocks more than one coat um, and made sure that I had full coverage and the white did show through a lot better.
This project was much more tedious and time, time consuming than I had expected. So I did only complete the top part of it and I left the sides and the top of the basket the same. So only the front portion will be painted and finished with the white. I didn't notice before, but if you can see right where the top of the wicker starts, part of it didn't complete or is broken off. And I just decided to go ahead and continue painting everything white um, that was on that bottom row, just so that everything looks very cohesive. And it's almost like you can't tell once I'm actually finished with it. So it worked out perfectly. Okay, everybody, I am exhausted. This took way more tediousness than I expected, but I am done. I do love the way that it looks compared to the way it looked when it started. It has a fresh, new, clean feel to it, and I absolutely love it. Let me know what you guys think.